Hello and welcome to Castle's Corner, and I'm introducing you guys to a new series. It's still been part of my podcast series, but this one is going to be Coaches, Coaching, Coaches. So we're going to be kind of cross-referencing each other and, you know, me and a bunch of coaches I link with and maybe some other people, we're going to be uh, educating each other and showcasing our skills and uh, showing you basically how it's done. Even the best coaches in the world well, they get coaches for things because they're not the best at everything. And posing is one of those things I've never been very comfortable with. I'm not the best at it. Ed is amazing at it. So I thought I'd hit him up. So uh, introducing once again, if you haven't met him already, Coach Ed McGregor. How are you, brother? Thank you for helping out. Thank you for having me, Coach. Uh, and you said my name's Ed McGregor. I'm a posing coach. And uh, uh, as we like, as we don't like to say, personal trainer for, for uh, here in the Bedford, Texas area. Uh, I'm a full-time safety officer for a construction company, and then I uh, I train people night and early in the morning, night in the evenings, and I have multiple competitors that uh, are getting ready for shows, and or we're going to be uh, uh, you know getting them in line with the uh, with uh, their posing so that we can show give them their best presentation on stage. Now, one of the the first things I always like to say about posing, because uh, I will have my clients do it sometimes to kind of show off the muscle they've gained or the fat they've lost, or you know, some of them are bodybuilders that have to be you know trained to pose and stuff. Now, the interesting thing I always say is I don't like posing, never did. I don't like mirrors. I don't like looking at myself. It took me a long time to get comfortable actually like observing my physique in a mirror. And uh, so many people, and I used to have this opinion as well, is that bodybuilders are very vain. They're very uh, ego driven. Now that that is true in some cases, but I think when it comes to the physique, they're extremely critical to their physique. And it's not really a narcissistic trait. It's more you observe yourself like a stranger looking for chinks in your armor that need to be fixed. More fat has to be pulled, less carbohydrates. You're looking for muscles which need to be focused on because as we know, you can't really bring up lagging muscle groups, unfortunately, but you can focus on them briefly for a period of time and back off a little bit on others and stuff. So how, um, just real quick before we actually get into today, what are your thoughts on posing for somebody who's just thinking about just getting into it, or maybe they don't even know if they should, but they might want to just try one or two poses uh, for Instagram or something. What do you think? I think, uh, I think any time that somebody goes ahead and is, um, critiquing and that's what i look at posing as it's a critiquing of your physique when you're watching when you're watching yourself you're doing yourself a service uh you know the uh uh, uh you can train forever and yes your body will shape differently but till you actually pose and feel those muscle connections and see what your physique is actually doing in a in a flex position you really don't you don't see the overall muscle uh, gains and advantages that you've got. And so I think it's, I think it's awesome. I, I, I pose everybody. I have clients that do, you know, just, uh, they were saying, you know, I, I, one of my clients, he turned to me the other day and I said, so what's your goal? You know, he goes, well, I want to look like you. <laughs> I said, okay, that's a little bit down the road, but let's, let's, let's work at it. So I immediately, you know, I start them with the, the, get, show me flaring your lash, show me holding your position. Let's uh, see it. And, and, and then I can go through and I said, do you feel this here? Do you feel this here? And they'll, they'll go, yeah, yeah. And I go, well, that's, I said, you know, I want you walking around like that all day. <laughs> you know, eventually, eventually that becomes your posture. Eventually you're, you're just a, a more omnipresent person in that. And I, I, I agree with you, coach. I don't think, uh, you know, I think uh, there are some bodybuilders that are very narcissistic and looking at it in vain and looking at the deal. But I think more so than anything, I think a lot of us are body dysmorphic. We're just yeah. so critical of everything because like, you know, I look at people talk to me and I tell them, I said, well, I'm, I'm left-handed, but I'm right side dominant. My right side, and this is, 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 is a, is a pretty narrow critique because I measure it continuously is a quarter inch bigger than my, my left side. So, you know, I'm always trying to, you know, I'll throw in the, we, I know we lagging body parts are one of those things I, I've managed to increase strength in some of those body parts, but the overall change in size doesn't really occur but you know psychologically that's the way i'm working and it's like okay let's do this so i'll do extra wraps and things on on that other side so um uh, to the point yeah I was, ahead, sorry, I was gonna say let's um let's talk about what we're actually going to get into today where we've been talking about posing and stuff some people don't even know what that is so let's talk about um what is it the the 10 poses we're going to do and then we're also going to do two alternatives so in a in order uh what are we going to walk through real quick here 
Well, initially, we want, uh, I start everybody out on their uh, quarter turns because as you come out on stage, that's the first thing you're going to do. You're going to come up, they're going to have you in position, and they're going to quarter turn you. And that's strictly a they call it relaxed. It's not relaxed. It's you're 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 in position forward. Right. And everything is always right turn, right turn, right turn on stage. So we'll go right turn, right turn, right turn, bring you back 360 degrees. And then you hold that pose. And I love when uh, the, the one thing that I always emphasize, if you're going to be competing, uh, when somebody tells you relax, that don't mean relax. And that that's where you see a lot of guys get killed. They'll just drop their shoulders they'll take their puffing and weaving. And, and that's that's the thing that, you know, you're you're still in position and you're you're holding yourself out there. You're you're ready to go if they call for a pose. Boom, you go. Because after the quarter turns, then we have the mandatories, which are going to be you know uh, front double, front lat spread. Uh, they'll ask you to do. I'm sorry, I wrote these down, so you have to like let me bear with me here. Um, yeah, front double, front lat spread. They'll do a, a quarter turn, side chest, side tricep, quarter turn, rear lat, rear double, rear lat, quarter turn, side chest and uh, side tricep again, then they'll have you face forward again. Usually they'll finish off with uh, uh, ab and uh, ab uh, um, thigh and abdominal, one, one leg one leg and an abdominal overhead, and then uh, last one, crab. All right, you know, and that, uh, the crab can be hit multiple different ways, but, um, you know, I kind of, I'm a big fan of, for my physique, the way I think it presents best is hand, one hand on hip with the, with the arm out in front. So, and some guys like to do the double, you know, double fisted to it. That's fine. Some guys go on their hips. It's, it's, it's really, you know, that's an individual thing where I, I as a coach, I look to tell them, okay, I think this looks best on you. And, uh, well, so we're going to do the, the two vacuums. I have the, the ability yes. to, to do vacuums is one of those things I actually encourage most of my clients to do vacuums just on a daily basis. I've been eight or nine years now, every single day, I do three to six vacuums first thing in the morning, just 10 to 15 seconds. It's just habitual, mm -hmm. like brushing my teeth, but it does a yeah. lot for, I mean, I won't get into it, but for your diaphragm, for your pelvic floor muscles, for your transverse abdominus, your lot of stuff. It's important to do it, not just for posing. It's good to do it for your health yeah. as well. Uh, but anyways, Absolutely. so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I guess I'm just going to leave this right here. Uh, let's okay. go ahead and get into the uh, the relaxed, and then I'll get into the mandatory. I'm going to be standing about uh, 12 to 14 feet away. If you can just be nice and loud with your, your commands, I'll do my best to listen up. And gotcha, Coach. I don't know. Let's see and how that might the, the the one thing one thing I want to emphasize too, Coach, is when when I always tell guys if you're if you're in a competition you're, or you're looking to compete, the 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 posing starts when you put your first foot on that step going to the stage. Mm -hmm. That's when you come out. That's when you get ready. You, you know, judges are always they're always looking. They look from the time you they see you peek out from the curtain till you get to the center and you're doing your thing. So I want everybody to be you know when you as you come out you're going to be wide. You're going to be ready. You're going to be tensed slightly you know it's that not not overly but ready to roll and let's do it coach uh, now in my case i'm just walking backwards sorry yeah, but um, <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna be starting off with front relax right yes sir all right and we'll go forward turns from there all right guys pay attention you can watch me screw a bunch of stuff up too we all do <laughs> that's good that's a good spot right there coach good okay yep Nice. Okay, coach, if, if in, in that position, I want you to put, to put your shoulders back just a little bit. Is, there you go. There. You just made yourself two inches wider. And now the, the other thing that I always tell guys is abs continuously. I want to see your abs. There you go. There you go. The, ab, the abs, I had a coach that was his thing. He said, if, I, if, I, if you're on stage, I better see abs. And there you go. And I, I, the other thing is you can actually make a little fist with your, with your, with your hands, uh, thumbs under there, there you go coaching. Now you've, now you've given yourself a little bit more of a, an hourglass look to it, which is really good. Really good. Again, throw your shoulders back just a little further there. There you go, coach. And you, when you watch this video, you'll see, see exactly what that hit. Okay. Standing tall. We're going to make coach work here. He's going to hold this for 20 seconds. <laughs> and, uh, Good, good. And that's, you can see, you can see how the coach has his, his shoulders are wide, his lats are out, his abs are tight, he's got his legs flexed, 
everything's and everything always starts from the ground up guys ground up if you get if, when you hit that floor you get your mark you want to kind of curl your toes in like you're trying to grab the floor with your toes that's going to bring your uh, uh calves and quads into the play and again coach don't get lazy keep that keep those shoulders up there you go there you go good all right quarter turn to the right There it is. Okay, now I want you, yeah. And I want, there you go, get a little more twist. And coach, raise your, raise your, raise your uh, bent arm up just a little bit across your waist to about there, okay? And I want you to throw your shoulder back just a little, your other, yeah, there you go, there. Now tighten those abs up, tighten those abs up, coach. There you go, you've got intercostals. I can see them from here, all right? The other thing is, uh, you're on a, on a side on the quarter turns. They do not want to see too much bend in your leg. Okay. That you just go. So you're going to straight just a, there you go. Just a little right like that. And then always look, look to the distance, coach, look to the distance. There you go. There you go. Chest high. Like somebody has got a string on your chest. There it is there. You just, you just overall came out your cap showing nicely. You push that, you push that uh, bicep kind of into the chest a little bit and it's just, really popping there you go and shallow brass coach shallow brass hold that pose now bring your bring your trailing arm back just a little bit know that the other the your your arm you're out you're out there you go there you go now i can see your thing good good and drop drop that arm just a little bit you're a little high with it just above your belly button there you go okay squeeze everything one more time all right quarter turn to the right All right, ground up again, coach. Here we go. And like now I want you to I want you to go as wide as you can and I want you to pull your shoulders back just a little bit there. And you'll see that on the video, coach, how much wider you look just right there. Right there. I always tell people it's, you know, uh, and we call we do what we call squeeze the paper. That's squeeze your butt cheeks. I want to see your I want to see those glutes. That's it. That's it. Stay tall. Good, right there. Right there, coach. Hold that position right there. Good. And quarter turn to the right. That's it. Bring your bring your trailing arm back just a your a little bit. There it is. There. Okay. And square, square up, square up your leg just a little bit. Again, the judges don't, the judges don't want to see your bend yet. We're going to, we're going to work on that in the mandatory right there. They want to see you standing tall, standing proud, hand off your body. Hand, there you go. Hand off your body, abs tight, abs tight. And twist just a little bit more coach. There you go. There you go. We want to see your shoulder cap when you're doing it again, a little more twist. Just a, there it is right there and look off in the distance. There you are. Okay. And quarter turn to the right. <laughs> it's funny. It, 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 it. And now you're, you're still in the relaxed position. So I want to see those shoulders up. I want to see those, those lats out. There you go. You're still being judged as you oh, go. Apologies, apologies. What's next? <laughs> All right. All right. Front double bicep. Does it matter what I do with my legs? You know, I, I there's there's two things, Coach. You can do it one of two ways. Bodybuilding and classic are a little different, but so we'll go bodybuilding. I like to put my foot out in front of me just a little bit and then cock that leg so my serratoris comes out a, a, a bit so you're going to roll your knee roll your knee towards your shoulder there okay now when you go over when you get ready to hit that bicep you're going to come up high you're going to come down and you're going to bring it out wide that's it boom okay now coach you've got big arms you've got big so i want you to open your arms up just a little bit no no not back just take take your arm and move it outward there you go there you go now bring your elbows up you're just no just your elbows there you go there you go coach like that 
show that world those arms. Show them that latch. You got big latch. You got good arms. You're going to show that thing to them. Squeeze those legs tight, brother. Here we go. Hold that pose. Shallow breaths. Relax. Relax, coach. Relax. Oh, full relax. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what? So when you come from the butt, when you go to the relaxed, you're right back into your position. Okay. Front lat spread. Very nice. Very nice. You got good hand placement. I want you to. I want you to again. Think that somebody's got a string on your chest and pulling it high. There you go. That's it. That's it, coach. Good. And your legs are in perfect position there for that front. The lat spread's a little different. You want to keep it out there, but stay wide. That's it. And the light, there it is. And I always tell guys you, where you drop your hands just a little bit, coach, about an inch down. Okay. Now, when you do it, push in on your stomach. Push in and throw it high. Push your stomach in and punt. There. There, coach. Right there, you just you just looked you look you gained an inch and a half on each side, and you narrowed your waist. You you those hands you're allowed to push in on your body. You want to use that. It also brings your arms out because you're having to tense up there. All right, relax. Okay, quarter turn to your right. Side chest. Right. Fix my legs here, so you want your you want your outer leg, the leg facing the crowd, toe in the instep of your foot. Perfect. Like that. There you go. There we go. It takes a second. I'm stuck here this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And that's it. Draw that arm across your body and throw it back. Very nice. Very right there, coach. Right there. You look wide. You look big. You're you're showing striations in your shoulders. You're showing your abs. Remember, hold your abs tight and mash that mash that quad up against the other the other quad. That's going to make you look a little wide there. You just gained some. You showed your hamstring just popped down. Good. And I, you know, some guys try to try to twist their shoulders down. And I always tell guys level shoulders. Look good. Stand tall. And there you go. That's a really nice pose for you, coach. I know you said you, you you didn't think that was one of your better ones. I think it is. I think it is. All right, relax. Side tricep. There it is. Very nice. Now I want you to twist some more, coach. Twist, twist towards the camera. There you go. There you go. Nice. And really, really go ahead and keep that twist. Keep your twist. I want you to twist towards me. There you go. And level, drop your, drop your front shoulder down just a little bit. There you go. There and drop it back. There you go. There, coach. Nice. Squeeze those, squeeze that thigh into the other, mash it into that other quad. There you go. Good. Relax. Quarter turn to the right. So we're going to do rear double bicep. Okay, relax for just a second, coach. Relax. Okay. So when you, when you, when you set your leg, I want you to put your, I want you to put your either, whichever one you're more comfortable with slightly out and wrench it just a little bit. Does that, does that make some sense? Because what right, that's gonna do, when you, when you, when you set up for your back shot, I want you to put your, put one, either whichever leg you're more comfortable with out just a little bit and wrench it. And that way, when you, ah. when you flex it, you're going to show that hamstring and calf. And then as you go for your, as you go for the uh, overhead, for the back, when you get ready to shoot, it's the same thing as the front. Bring your arms high, bring them down and bring, come out wide. Okay. Gotcha. So, okay. Rear double. There you go. Like that. There you go, coach. Uh, I got you. There we go. 
All right. Up high. All right. Now arch yourself to me just a little bit. Arch your back back. There you go. And I want you to open those arms up just a little bit like we did with the front and then take your elbows a little higher. Just a little bit. There you go. There you go, coach. Now arch back to me a smidge more. There. There, coach. And bear down on kind of put a little weight in your in, in, on your thigh. There on that on that wrenched leg. It's going to bring your hamstring out. There. There you go. There you go. Hold that pose. Relax, relax. All right, coach, here we go. Rear lat spread. There it is. Now sit, sit down on that haunch just a little bit, bring that hamstring out. Yeah, so the, go there and just, Keep putting a little more arch in your back and bring your back towards me just a little bit. There you go. There you go. Do not let do not let your hands fall forward. There you go. All right, hey, relax. Me. There you go. <laughs> Too sweaty. There you go. All right, now arch to arch to me, coach. Good, right there, right there. Very nice. Man, your uh, your uh, spinous erecti and your lower lat and everything's really out. Relax, relax, okay. coach. Uh, <laughs> Quarter turn to your right. Got a cramp. <laughs> yeah, but you know that. Right. <laughs> Just finished cardio for an hour. <laughs> yeah, you go. <laughs> right, we, um, We're gonna do a side chest. Side chest. Did you want it? You wanted to show us the the different foot foot variation, coach? Yeah, let's do a split stance. Okay, so split stance. Anytime, you know, this is absolutely legitimate either way, guys. You can do it. Um, but co coach is going to show you. Uh, they actually take and move their uh, rear foot instead of having your front foot into the instep. You step step back, and you'll have a uh, you'll have a. Well, you're going to go the opposite way, coach. Okay. There you go. There you go. Right there. Right there. No, you're right. You you had it right. Sorry, it was yeah, the video was, right. was just a little good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So again, now side chest. That's it. Now, coach, take your heel and point it just a little bit towards the audience because I want to see your I want to see your cap a little better. Yeah, there you go. Just your heel. You just kind of give it a little turn when you flex. All right, there you go. Nice. Draw that shoulder back on the in the front. There it is. There it is, coach. Hold that pose. Very nice. Relax. Relax for side tricep. Uh, same thing with the legs. Might as well. Yeah, you can do. Let's do it. Let's. More commonly, you will see guys do do the split stance with the side tricep than you will with the side chest. So it's that's that's but either is acceptable. That's better. Okay. That's it. Now twist to me, coach. Twist to me a little more. There you go. And you see how the coach has got a little bit, a, a, a squat in there a little bit. It brings out, still brings out the hamstring, still brings out the glute. Again, point your toe, your heel towards me, coach, and just kind of flex that back calf a little tighter there. Okay. Good. Keep your twist. I want to see your shoulder cap on the, on the, on the opposing. There you go. There you go, coach, like that. There you are. Relax. <sighs> Relax and we'll face forward. Okay. Uh, absent thigh. Again, coach, coach, co coach, has done, coach has done an hour of cardio previous to this, guys. So, uh, coach, get in that, get in your stance. You're you're relaxed, but you're not relaxed. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do the overhead abdominal and thigh. 
Okay. So, uh, and we're going to do one uh, crunch style. We're going to do try. Coach is going to give us one vacuum style. So again, coach, like just like you had that uh, leg out in front. And like I said, put a little wrench, put a little wrench on it. There you go. Right there, coach. This is going to be crunch guys. You're going to see those. You're going to see the uh, six pack, eight pack come down. Exactly. Good. And you notice his arms where his arms are. That is a proper form for those. You don't want your arms too tight. You don't want them out here where coach has got them. You've given him a nice V shape going in. Okay, coach, relax. And we're going to do that with a vacuum. I catch my breath for one sec. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> Not as easy as it looks, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're not sweating during a posing session, you're not you're not posing. <laughs> or you're Antarctica. Yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. Overhead with a vacuum, gentlemen. There. All right, coach. There it is. There's the vacuum, guys. And you notice how he 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 has to bring his physique up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. That I love it, today. coach. Ooh. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I love it. There you go. <laughs> uh, we got most muscular. That's it, yeah, right? let's do let's do the most muscular, and then and then we've gone through all the mandatories, coach. Okay, guys, and there's multiple ways to do the most 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 muscular, but uh, I I like the foot out in front like we had it when we did the front double initially, coach. With your with the little wrench on it, you're going to see the serratoris. You're going to bring that in. Now I do, I usually put my hand on my hip on that extended leg. I put my hand just at the top of no, actually on the hip down. Put your hand down right there and then as you come across you want to remember to keep that elbow flared just a little bit so you're getting all the lat coming forward and then we we, we put a it, it's a crunch style uh ab shot okay here we go coach there you go bring it in there it is right there notice how notice how nice and wide he looks at the top and he's got his abs showing his lats are flared the arms are peaked looks really good there coach stand tall stand tall Always stand tall. There you go. There it is. Notice, notice how he just brought himself out, guys. That's that's what we're looking to find. That's what judges want to see. And you want to remember those judges are sitting down and they're looking up at you. So they're getting a much broader view of this. Very nice, coach. Okay, relax. And let's do let's do one with hands together and, and so so people can see the variation there. Hips. Okay. Are... So wrists. Hips, fist, right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna bring the, you're gonna bring you're gonna bring your knuckles knuckles together across your body, okay. in front. Okay. All right, here we go, Coach. Crab style. Now don't don't get too bowed down, Coach. Don't get too bowed down. Stand stand a little taller up uh, on, on off your haunches, because you you're you're bow, you're you're tweaking your legs too much. Come up higher in your butt. There you go. Now roll your, just roll your knees out. Just roll your knees out there and crunch down hard. Show those abs. There they are. There they are. Nice, coach. Very nice. All right, relax. And that's 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 us through all the mandatories. I think I think we're gonna have to get coach oxygen. <laughs> oh my goodness! They're quite tired. Jesus Christ. Anyway, yeah, that, it'll do it. It'll right, we're do back. It. <laughs> back over here. You keep talking. I gotta catch my breath one sec. <laughs> <laughs> well, coach, coach went. Coach, coach showed you different variations, guys. And the one thing you always want to remember is, you know, your physique. May coach, coach has a kind of a. Mes, uh, uh, you're a mesophore. Mesophore. I'm using the correct term, ectomorph. And so, you know, he has he has nice. He has wide wide shoulders. Um, and it, it, like I'm a little thicker in the waist, so I have to try to you know keep. I have to keep myself up. Everything that coach just did, you know, we did in what here twenty minutes, coach. And uh, you know, that's that's a session. That's a session, and especially when you're when you if you haven't done it, you're you wouldn't. Most of the guy, most of the competitors. I start them out with just a 15 second hold. Then we go to 30 second. 
Then we go to, you know, let's, let's get in here and let's flex. Again, you saw Coach too. He was flexing, but, you know, Coach does a nice job. When he's holding himself up, he's got that front double. He's not bearing down on things, guys. You got to – once you get to the position, you're flex, that's it. Don't overflex. Overflexing causes shaking. Shaking is not something we want. And if you're just if you're just looking to you know you want to show somebody says hey make a muscle show me your biceps whatever on the beach you know you can just you put that bad boy up and you go there's where the <laughs> that way to the beach guys there we go <laughs> you know just just practice 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 is all is all it's about guys and you did a you did a great job coach you did a great job <laughs> I should mention as well just a couple of real quick things for those of you opposing I I mean you know you know these but I'll uh, I'll steal your thunder for a minute something I didn't do properly was be hydrated enough. <laughs> And that's because I just got off the treadmill after an hour of hard cardio. I was pretty dehydrated. It's my fault. Um, something else to take in consideration is your salt levels, your iodine levels, your potassium levels, zinc, magnesium, and even calcium levels. If all those are good, you can be super lean, shredded, and you can pose without dehydration, provided one more important factor, and that's you're sleeping enough. If you're not sleeping enough, you'll still be getting these cramps and things. And of course, if you're overtraining, you know, all these things, you'll, you'll still be cramping up. So I was lucky I was dehydrated. It was just my calf and my forearm for a quick second. That's not bad considering I never really do this. So <laughs> gotta say, not bad. <laughs> but guys, just make sure you are hydrated properly. And um, I mean, you do kind of have to have a certain level of leanness to be like practicing posing. I mean, you, you know what I mean? Like you can't, you can't be fat and practice posing because you mm -hmm. can't really see anything. So just uh, bear that in mind, guys. Could be a goal for you. I want to get lean enough. I can practice posing, et cetera. What do you think, Ed? Yeah, I agree, Coach. You know, the, the thing is, uh, I don't, we don't really hit posing until uh, uh, we get, you know, um, we're usually about eight weeks out, I'll start the, I'll start the posing process. And part of that is, um, we want it fresh when you're, when, when you get up on stage, I want you, I want you in shape, ready to go with your poses, but I want that. I want a little, a, uh, I always like to say a little bit of butterfly on the stage, never hurt anybody. And, uh, so yeah, definitely got it. We, by that stage, you're usually lean enough where we're getting to see what, the results of everything you've done. So uh, excellent point coach. Excellent point. Um, is that it for today? Then we should probably get off so I can take a nice shower and uh, we're going to have you back on. I think we should do just a, a quick video just going over posing itself in general again. We have two other videos up about these topics, guys, but perhaps a quick summary video or a get started kit or something. But uh, Ed, yep. thank you so very much for putting through my paces. I feel like a racehorse. It was a lot of fun. I love doing this shit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you guys you just uh, don't get intimidated by it. Practice your poses. I'll come up with some flashcards for you guys soon. You can practice yourself. But I mean, uh, don't be scared of posing. It's not a vanity thing. You worked hard to put that muscle there. You should learn how to control it and how to show it off as well. So, uh, yeah, everybody have a great day, Ed. Thank you exactly. again. And uh, real quick, where Thanks, can we find Coach. you, Ed? Where can uh, find you can you? find me at Ed McGregor, Ed McGregor on Facebook and ed.mcgregor.3 on Instagram right now. We're working on the website. We're going to get that up as quick as we can. But we'll uh, as soon as I'll, I'll give you that information as well, Coach. Thanks. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate these. And, Guys, if you're out there and you 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 you're a uh, uh, subscribe to Coach Castle, go. I, I'm hitting his videos every chance I get because they are super informative. Got some really great stuff out there, and uh, can't wait for the new book, Coach. And so we'll uh, we'll talk soon. Yep, and guys, just uh, stay in your grind. Never stop or get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, it. no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want. I turn a business out of nothing into something I love. I got a poker face, but honestly, I'm not one to bluff. I flip a switch, never miss, man, I always stay up. Don't let them see you, bitch. Always have a plan to stay tough. This life ahead of you ain't easy. It was built to be rough, but that's what makes a personality. It is tragedy, bro. Uh, so keep your head on your shoulders. Now we ain't out here moving rocks. We out here moving boulders. Now we ain't getting postal rides. We out here making posters, and we ain't got nothing to hide. We move forward like soldiers. You better wake up for the pay stuff or you'll pay up. Don't make love to the game, bro. Fuck the game up. Change up for your rain stuff to your greatness. Same us for the way up. Play the game, bro. Never stop. Go get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise.
promise I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, yeah You know I'm always honest There ain't no way I'm ever stopping I won't quit, keep going till I got it I won't give up till I'm on top, I'm yeah. always working with pain She likes to hurt me and maim I'm always working to change But she's still lurking the same I keep on building a dynasty While the haters be trying me But they hate from inside You see, hate themselves in society So I let them speak quietly Want my actions speak wider See, they be hiding in privacy With the screen, all the irony To hate someone who's trying to be Whatever they would like to be We all feel the anxiety We make our own rivalries Yo, so where is all the positivity? I feel like we all just hate on everything It's killing me Thoughts build quick and different possibilities Negative thoughts will cause different disabilities So do better, work hard under pressure If you got no time, work smarter than ever Don't ever let them